Got the front end back on, fair bit of work done. Hey everyone and welcome back. So uh, as you would have seen in a video a while ago, I got quite bogged with the Jeep. Um, I'll put a link up in the corner so you can see it. I decided to put a winch on this uh, Jeep and so I've got all the parts. Do it. I'm gonna do a, the hidden star where it's behind the actual existing bumper. I've got a mount plate to put on. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, just work on it and I'll uh, let you watch as I'm going and hopefully it'll end up looking okay or half decent at least and it'll be able to get me out of trouble when I'm down the property. Trying to take the uh, nudge bar off. It's got um, two 18 mil bolts. Well, they go into a, a threaded um, relief. So there's a a bar that comes out from the chassis rails, and then on one side is this uh, toe mount, and the other side is the mount for the nudge bar, and that's got the thread. So I don't want to strip the thread because this is just aluminium. Or as you Americans would say, aluminum, but you know, you don't know that you're wrong. So. Okay. That bit's loose, so we'll just check on the other side now. Well, as you can see, I've got the grill off uh, in my model, which is a year 2000 limited. The grill is actually attached to the bumper assembly. It's all one unit. Meanwhile, over at the Jeep, to mount the winch here in the front, it needs to rest on each of the box sections on this side, which is the chassis rail, essentially. For this type of Jeep. So there's one either side. This center piece I need to cut out, but to get to it cleanly, I think I need to remove this molding, and unfortunately that means removing the lights and everything. I was hoping to perhaps avoid that, but it seems like I might need to do that. So anyway, I'm gonna have a bit of a look at it, see what else I can work out, and then uh, work out what the next steps are for removing that beam between those two box sections. So I've taken the light assembly off as well. That wasn't too hard. It all comes off as one unit with the lights intact. I wasn't worried about having to remove the headlights themselves, but they just stay in that mounting. And um, just have a light connector there, so they can stay in one piece. I'll put them to the side while I work on the front here. So I need to clean up a lot of the weeds and stuff in here and see what I've got, but um, I have to um, <clears throat> remove this mount as part of the grill support and undo the bottom screws for these two vertical supports. They need to stay because it holds up the prop of the hood so the hood can't well, actually undo without those being connected. So that will be the level. bit of a change of plan. In looking at how this is uh, structured, 
the top of the box section is actually at an angle and where my plate is flat. I don't really have the ability to, to bend it. I don't want to weaken it by cutting halfway through it. So I've decided, looking at a few examples on the internet, to uh, mount it underneath. And the good thing is I already had mounting brackets there for the um, nudge bar and the um, uh, recovery points and they already have uh, like a mother washer on both sides so it, it clamps it. So I managed to remove all of that and I'm um, just uh, painting up the actual bits that you see but you know it actually clamps it quite thick and I should be able to get at least uh, three bolts through there but I need to trim these corner pieces on either end so I'm about to start doing that I'm um, just using the um, cutoff wheel so I'm about to just do some of that well, we're getting there. I just had to uh, trim the back section so it would be uh, far enough back so that I could use the existing uh, holes and brackets. So just working on fitting it up, but I've got it loosely in place now, just testing the fit and the alignment. It's good because it doesn't rest on the radiator, so there'll be a gap there. I might put a little bit of uh, rubber hose on the edge just to protect it as well. Anyway, moving forward. So as well as working on the car, I'm taking the opportunity to uh, update the front. It's a year 2000 model, so it's a little out of date. I'm playing with trimming the front a bit. I want to keep the driving lights, but I want to kind of raise the profile up against the side a little, make the wheels look a little taller. So I'm thinking of this kind of shape. So from front on, you'll still see a sort of a, a curve downwards. Uh, but still supporting that light. I'm also looking to update the grille, so I've taken the inserts out of the grille for the moment. I'll uh, trim that up and we'll see the end result on the Jeep when I finally get it together. So this is the final front uh, plate for the winch. I've um, adjusted the front edges to curve with the bumper, so it'll in sit inside the bumper. And we've got um, our bolt holes all sorted out. I'm just uh, painted the edges where I've had to cut it and grind it to smooth it off. There you go, not a bad afternoon's work. Put the um, put the winch tray on. You can see it's you know, bolted in with four bolts there with a big mother washer, and it bolts through this and through the mounting for where the nudge bar goes on to. So that is solidly in there. I just um, tidied up the mountings to uh, freshen them up a bit and. Um, I just put a bit of um, protective hosing there in case it feels like it wants to rub against that cooler line, but it's got a it's got a fair gap between the two. So that's it. Next stage will be fitting the winch and doing the wiring and then putting the front end back on. But that was probably probably the hardest work. You can see where I've shaped the tray to fit the front bumper. Uh, it's all looking good, I'm pretty happy with it. So we'll just see if it fits after all of that. So the next phase of the operation will be installing the winch under the winch plate and then working out what needs to go around it. These pipes I can hopefully just bend enough so they'll go above the winch. I'll need to modify these um, hood strut supports so that they rest on top of the winch bar that goes about here. So I'll probably need to shorten them and find a way of attaching them. So I'll be uh, working on that next. Getting there, got the uh, cables 
the wire up, put the controller on its side with the um, box connector at the top, which I'll be uh, able to get through the bumper. I've um, put the two hood support mounts um, on the crossbar of the winch, so let add structure to the front end now. Everything's just loosely bolted in place at the moment. Uh, got the front end back on, fair bit of work done. Just had to reroute some of the pipes across the front. Also just uh, trim out a section here for the lockout and uh, over here for where the, the um, controller plugs in. But that sure girl will get hidden by the grill when I put it back on. I tested it and it works, so that's good. Uh, I've also adjusted the hood, so the hood shuts now. Everything else seems to be moving back into place. Bit of a fight here and there, but you can see it uh, really doesn't stick out any further than the normal bumper would, so we should be good there. I've uh, taken away the standard grill front and I'm going to use a, um, like a gutter guard material to give me that mesh look. So I need to lay it over the front of the grill before I put the actual end, uh, the bumper and the fascia back on, but for the most part it's coming together there. I just need to play with this and put it on. So we're in the uh, stages of fitting the bumper grill face here, the front piece. I've had to unfortunately chop into the bottom to make it fit over the winch plate which stuck out further than I'd hoped. But that's a, a bit of a risk when you're um, building your own. So anyway, I'll find a way of securing those things. Meanwhile, I'm just putting on the fair lead and um, tidying up the rest of it, attaching all of the connections around the grill and we, uh, we're going to button this up. And here we are all done. Got the uh, bar back on, the lights, um, the toe points, um, tightened up the shackle and the fair lead and uh, checked all the lights and everything works, the hood closes again. Um, still need to work on securing some of the bottom pieces, but it's all relatively tight. And uh, yeah, a lot more trimming than I would like to have done, but um, it's good. It works, it pulls hard, and it'll get me out of trouble if I get bogged again. And that's what it's all about. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed me toil and put away this uh, hidden winch inside the bumper of this uh, WJ. Jeep Cherokee and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks, bye for now.